welcome back to my channel. I'm Auto Member, and we're back playing Pokemon Heart Gold. So I'm um, thinking about it. Rules are down in the description of the video. And then today's question of the day. I didn't really get that far. I'm running out of questions. Let me see here. Hold on. Well, we took on Team Rocket in the last episode. I know I asked who's your favorite evil team. I'm gonna ask who's who do you think is the worst evil team? Um, for me, I'm not really like attached to like the newer generation, so like I'm gonna have to say Team Yell. Like, yeah, they have like their like I don't know, they have like their ones that are like they're like not meant to be like that bad of guys, but still like I don't know. The evil teams are getting like worse in my opinion, like throughout the generations. So that's just my take on it. But anyway, so yeah, comment yours down below. I'm very curious. Alright. So, with being said, we took on Morty in the last episode, and... Oh, why aren't my buttons working? There we go. Alright, so the mission today is I'm gonna go down to the Runes of Alpha since we took on Morty. And so, sir, we should be able to use the... The, the move. Uh, the word. Um, to use the move surf now to get to other places. So we're gonna go back to the runes of alpha in hopes that we can go get a moonstone for queen. I absolutely did not do research on move pool on moves for the um for everyone. But I'm gonna go do that between here now. At least while we're taking on this Pidgey. Okay, scratch. Alright, so for let's see. A neat arena. Okay, it doesn't really learn, like, any better moves, at, um, right now. Ooh, that's tough, though. Because then for Nido Queen, if I were to evolve it now, it doesn't- The next thing it learns is Earth Power at 43 and Super Power at 58. But there is a ton of moves I can teach it, though. I did forget that I do have Shadow Ball. Hold on, who else was I gonna look up? I was gonna look up Polly, I know that. I gotta find Polly in this book first. Um... Okay. So, once Polly evolves at 25... It looks like I should not evolve Poliwhirl until at least level 41-ish. No later than 42, be um, because Poliwrath warns for um, Dynamic Punch at level 43. Oh, that's so tough. Um, I don't know. I know that that's not a decision for this episode anyways. We're not gonna have to worry about it. So I should not evolve Poliwhirl right away, anyways. It seems because that would not be that would not be great for the um for the pools for the um move set. Unless I plan on teaching Polly everything he knows, which is not ideal. All right, I do not know what we need. We haven't done a Runes of Alpha episode in a bit. Like, that was like before we went to Zalia Town. Did I go on the right side? No, oh, it's over here. Alright, nothing's over there. So I wonder how much, now that we have the move Surf, I wonder how much we can take on with all this. Alright, what do I need for you? Light. So someone needs to learn Flash. Who can learn Shadow Ball? Because I'll teach someone Flash and then replace it with Shadow Ball anyways. Ah, uh, here's the dilemma. I don't want Phantasma to know Shadow Ball because I feel like it learns it. I forgot that- I already forgot that we had a, um, Phantasma to the team. Okay. Wait. So you should evolve actually after this.
Yeah, so Haunter will learn sh um, Shadow Ball anyways at 33. So I think I'm going to teach it to Crown, just so Crown has like a bigger like move pool of stuff. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. Okay. So we'll teach, we'll, t we'll teach Flash to Crown and then teach it. Uh, Shadow Ball. Because I'm not really going to use Flash any other time, to be honest. And Flash is kind of really easy to, to obtain. I think I can just buy it from somewhere. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of Sweet Kiss, because Yawn is kind of useful if I want to put a Pokemon to sleep, so that's not going to... I'm not going to get rid of that for a little bit. Actually, wow, I opened up right to Togetic. That's actually astounding. Um, I just want to see what moves they'll learn. Okay, nothing really special to be honest. But I can teach it a lot of, of different things, so please. Okay. Alright, let's see what all items are here. Moonstone should be one of the one of them. Alright, yep, Moonstone. I won't go down this I won't go down that way. I'm gonna go through the puzzle way. I'll probably wait a little bit. Not like too long to evolve. To evolve. Turn around. Uh, where does this go? Nope. Apparently I cannot turn the puzzles if the Hello? Okay. Um... I think that one goes here. Yeah. That's the tail. Hey, look at me using my big old noggin. I forgot that we do have the, um, what's it called? Do I have a fossil? We have a helix fossil, that's right. But we can't, but we can't really, like, revive that until we get to Kanto. So that sucks. Oh, that's not good. My milkshake is leaking at the bottom, I think. Hold on. I'm gonna run away from this battle. It's not like it's gonna give me a lot of experience points. Hmm. Okay. T. Oh, I'm just hit I was like, why isn't the but buttons working? I was hitting F instead of D. I think that's G. I'm not sure. I know the last two were H and T, but I think this one's G. Not sure. I don't feel like looking it up. I kept I keep pulling on the book. Yeah, let's see what else we can do while we're here and just I don't know. So we unlock that one way. I don't think like, I feel like every time I've played it, I always forget about Runes of Alpha, so I don't think I've ever been in here before. What's over here? Why is this a thing of its own? There must be an, a hidden item over here. Why is this a thing of its own? Nope, nope, nope. No, dang it. Well, I don't have a dowsing machine. Why is that a thing? What else? Is that all we could take on right now? Oh. 
I meant to go up here. Uh, and I haven't opened that up either. Well, I guess there's not really much else we can do here then. But us having Surf now, being able to use it, like, opens up so many possibilities of places that we can go, like... I'll go back to the route just below the, um, Triathlon Dome place, like, the National Park, actually. What is that? Um, Route 35, because there's a little water wave that I could take, too. And then we'll- then after this, we'll make our way to, um, Alvine City. We can, we can also get a new encounter today with Route 39, uh, 38 and 39. So that's two encounters. Wild. Hey, Nidorina. Or Nidoran, wow. When I was looking, I was looking up what all Pokemon we can get for Route 38. But literally, God knows what we could get. We could get Spearow, because I know we don't have one. We could get Spearow, Tauros, Meowth, something else. Yeah, we have a chance of getting um, Meowth, Tauros, Snubble, Miltank, Magnemite, and Farfetch'd. So many things that we don't have, and do I know what we're gonna probably end up getting? A freaking Spearow, because that's my luck. Because getting a Tauros or a Snubble is pretty rare, along with a Miltank. If we were to get a Magnetite, Mag Magnemite, that'd be kind of cool, because then we'd have a then we could add a Steel type to the team, a Steel and Electric type. Tauros, I've seen Tauros is pretty actually like a pretty good Pokemon to add to the team, especially for like um doing like a Nuzlocke and all that. It wouldn't really be that great since the next gyms are Steel and Fighting type coming up. Blitzo's definitely gonna be the main star for that one. Oh, wait, what's even can I get? Is there, like a hidden hidden item up there or something? Cause I'm not really caring for these apricorns or apricots. Can I not see hidden items if I don't have a thing for them? I guess not. Okay, well that was a waste of time. Sorry guys. I really thought there could have been something there, but nope. The game just hates me. There's nothing below, right? No. I'm shocked I didn't get run into like any like water type Pokemon all doing that. It probably would have been faster to go up through that little shortcut, but right now I'm feeling like t taking the um, scenic route anyways. Oh, pff. that was a full encounter. I still don't have my encounter for, for National Park, but Sunkern is, the Sun Kern is the only thing I can get, so I'm waiting on that. Um, I'm trying to take as much XP as I can right now. That shield- that- even if it was not effective, I feel like it should have still done a lot of damage. But I guess not, but okay. Alright, I'm gonna get out of the grass. Stop fooling around, Ember. We gotta- we gotta go. We got places to be. People to see, things to do. Oh my god, we're so close by one old tile grass. And it's a Stantler, come on. Well, at least we have Queen out, because then it can double- Finally double kick will do some effect- something effective. Okay, usually that did more damage. What is going on right now? I need a different move move other than double kick for for queen. Oh my god. 
Oh. Okay, that's just a little blow. Give me a Pidgey when I don't need it. Um, I want the experience points. I just want to look up where I can get, um, to, to, to do what's it called? Brick Break. Ugh, 40 points at the battle frontier? That's something we can't even do right now. Where is the battle frontier? Oh, it won't be accessible though, I don't think, this early in the game. Wait, do I have enough Pokeballs? I feel like I- no, wrong thing. I was look I said Pokeballs, but I was looking at a Pokeball. Alright, wait, wait, wait. Teach to you. I should really spend some time um, at the casino, not the casino, at the gaming corner in Goldenrod to try and get like the um, bigger and better moves. I might do that after I, after I record. Oh yeah, I was gonna get a review. Um, flash. I'm already blanking. I don't know what's wrong with me right now. Right. Yeah, there's not really a lot more payback. Can anybody learn payback? Now that's gonna really be helpful, but eh. Rock to? Yeah, Rocco. I feel like Queen might be able to when when Queen evolves. Actually, I'm gonna switch somebody in because I want I want Polly and I want everyone else to get experience. Well, especially Blitz. Actually, hold on. There we go. Whoa. Ooh, let's go. New encounter time. The music change. Ooh, you're a sailor with water type Pokemon. We don't really have a, any good Pokemon for that. At least none that need the experience points right now. I mean, Queen can take them on. Because Queen's not a ground type yet. I need to stop trying to hum along to the music. I'm no, I'm not good. A whooper? Oh my god. It won't know any ground type moves, will it? Right? No? I hope not. Now nah, we should be fine. Ooh, wait a minute. Okay, that- I, It took me a second to realize that that was a ground type move. I was like, oh my god. Ooh, I need to think of something, because we're gonna have that big old route where we're just surfing on water, and that's gonna be a lot of water types to take on. <sighs> Hold on. We're gonna backtrack it and go to the route out the other route the other way because we have a chance of getting Mary, but Mankey and Sparrow. But if we get a Mary, that'd be really good. The issue is all of these Pokemon are common. So it's up in the air on what we'll get. I'm really hoping I'll be fine if it's a Mankey. What is this? Shadow Claw. Oh, I should have came this way. That would have been helpful for the gym. Oh, wait, what? Oh boy, sorry that I bumped into you. Did I hurt you? Please don't cry. Here, take this. Oh, we get strength. Okay. But we can't use it yet. Okay. Thanks. Oh, what's on the water? Surfing? Crap. I don't want to call Dean to be our chance. So wait, what cave is this? Mount Mortar? Okay, hold on. 
Okay, I did some research and what I'm thinking. Hold on. Where was it? By 38. Oh wait, wrong thing. Ooh, level 25 though. Um we're gonna go get some repels and try and go across the water without running into a Goldeen, but the issue is that Goldeen can be as high as level 25. I don't like those odds, but I really want a chance to mirror a Mary. Where's the So I'll probably like put like crown up front. I'll be so upset if we get a Sea King. I don't want to talk to Joey right now. Wait, how close is Crown to leveling up? Because if maybe if I put... Oh, you're already level 26? Perfect. Okay. I'll do anything to get a decent Pokemon for the team that can take on water types. Where is it? Yes. Whew, okay. What? How much is there? Okay. No, 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 no. Oh my god, I thought I turned around. There we go. I just need a patch of grass, please. What level are these Pokemon? Okay, they're not gonna be like terribly like over. Hello? Okay. I do not want to battle any of these trainers because I do not know what level their Pokemon are gonna be since we're technically at a point that's like two gym badges above. Hello? Oh, I have a repel on the... Um... Yeah. Well, now I gotta wait. I have to repay- I have to wait for the repel anyway. Alright, running, running, running. There we go. Please, please be a Mary. That's not a Mary. Ugh. Fine, fine. Fear is kind of okay to have for, for Nuzlocke. Unless I kill it. Damn near, okay. I guess I'll take a damn near kill. Okay. Well, there went our second chance of getting a Mary. Our first one way gone, long gone ago. Come on, Ash, you gotta get down. Well, welcome to the team, Sparrow. Oh, I was hoping there was enough characters. Wait, why the fuck am I misspelling that? Why do- why do both ways look wrong to me? Hold on. Okay, no, I was right the first way. I was gonna do Captain Jack, like Captain Jack Spar Sparrow, but we'll just name him Captain. Okay, well, there went that failed encounter. I'm gonna still put a repel on regardless. Yeah. 
Just oh, I need to stop doing that. Also, I mean, I need to switch Blitz out because any water type Pokemon right now would not be good. Get back out there. Yeah, and then we'll do um, we'll do the Mount Mortar encounter when we get to that point. So not now, not today. Like maybe in like ten episodes, cause eh, probably more than that, cause we have to get through both Alvine City and in Canewood City. I really have to strategize what I'm gonna do for the water types that we're gonna about to, that we're gonna face coming up. I think that's gonna be one of the reasons why I'm not gonna evolve Nidorina just yet, because other than that, we only have Polly. Not really that great to fall back on anyway. But we have Polly, Ghastly, and Crown to fall back on for those gyms. Alright, we do need to level up Blitzo though. Oh wait! I think Blitzo can learn Shadow Claw. So that's something that Typhlosion can learn? Not- not- I know- Typhlosion can learn it, but I'm shocked that Quilava can't. Yeah, Typhlosion can learn Ghost, um, Shadow Claw. So I'm gonna save that for when we do- when Blitzo eventually evolves then. Oh, we didn't even get our encounter for this route. Hold up. Why is the music different? Oh shit! What? Hello, Entei. Goodbye. Don't wreck my shit right now. Okay, good. <laughs> oh my god. I think my life flashed before my eyes. Oh my god, yeah. I should have realized that Repel didn't even wear off. Why not? Why not? Let's get our mortal enemy right here. Cool. You know, we could have had a Tauros. What else could we have gone? We could have gone a Magnemite. But no, we had to get a rare we had to get a rare melting, because why not? I'm having the worst luck for this for this um Nuzlocke. Oh my god. I'm, s I'm a little scared now, I just realized. Well, do you have rollout? Uh, Pokeball, Pokeball, Pokeball. Throw, go. I, <laughs> I already know what I'm gonna name this mill tank. It's a. Its milk is packed with nutrition, making it the ultimate be beverage for the sick or weary. Cool. You know what I'm gonna name you? Satan. Nope, not- well, yeah, it could, it could be in all caps. Yep. Okay, I meant to go up from there so I could go battle the, the lady. Well, good thing we didn't get rat. I mean, well, we have Dupes Claw would have came into effect because we do have rat. Uh, we do have Rattata, so eradicate wouldn't have been that bad. We haven't we haven't really used Blitzo in battle in a long time. Now that I'm thinking about it, ooh, ooh, no, no, no. Okay, I thought that was gonna be way worse because I thought that did way more damage. I almost got sick to my stomach for a second for a second there. Alright, I'm gonna heal up Blitzo before we take on this gym this gym tra uh wow, this trainer. Regular trainer. She's not special. She's not in a gym right now. Oh, I should probably heal up Queen in case I need to fall back to her. There we go. Everyone's good now. I 
still can't believe that Entei encounter, oh my god. Like, what are the chances? I there was no way I was gonna try and catch it, no. Hold on, I'm overthinking things. Does that mean that Entei was technically our encounter for the route? And that Miltank is Null? Like, I can't use Miltank because that wasn't our first encounter? Should that even count? Because, like, that was a freaking legendary Pokemon and I was not- I did not have a chance to catch it. Guys, can you, like, let me know your opinion down in the comments? It's not like I'm even gonna ever use Miltank, but oh my god, I'm gonna need to know that in the future if I need to fall back on Miltank. But I didn't even realize that. <laughs> That's wild that Entei was the first Pokemon, actually. Yeah, there was no way in hell I was gonna catch a Miltank. Uh, there was no way in hell I was gonna catch Entei. So should that even count? Because regardless of what I could have done, whatever strategies, it would have just fled on me anyways, as you saw. Like, if I were actually to try and catch Entei, I would have had to have ghastly out and immediately mean look it but then god knows it would have destroyed me it would have destroyed the team i don't know for me personally i want to say i don't think i want that to count because that would have been unfair but ugh, that's such a hard decision right there oh my god this flappy is not going down for nothing hello What a wild day. Ooh, a Psyduck? Um... Well, Polly needs the experience, so that's my logic on this. Because I need- I want Polly and, and Rocco to level up. Polly actually would be good against the- um... Eh, no, now that I'm thinking about it. Probably would be good against her Steelix, because it's also a ground type, but it won't be- I, I should not have it anywhere near her Magnemite. I don't know what all- she, I don't know what all Pokemon she has, to be honest. Oh, crap. No, you're gonna get Surf, because that's the next best powerful move I've got. No? Okay. Oh, I was hoping that that, that would have been more experience points, but oh well. You're really good with Pokemon. Boys give me items after battles, but sometimes they give me too much. Next time I can share some if you want. Let me have your phone number. Get your phone number. I can't read. I just kind of guess what they say and just go from there. Ugh. I don't want this episode to go on too long. It's already... But there's like a lot of trainers- oh, well. But I have to go back in anyway. And go through the grass. Thanks for that, nerd. Ooh, a Mr. Mime? Eh, I mean Bloodsoe should be able to take a Mr. Mime, right? Shouldn't have anything too crazy up its sleeve. At least I hope not. Hmm. I mean, this will actually this will be a lot. What? Wait, what? I was say I didn't think that was gonna do a lot, but when did you give? What? I missed something. I wasn't paying attention. But this should be a lot of experience points, so that's good. Ooh, yes. 
Defense curl? What? This late on- wait, this later on in life you want to learn defense curl? That's wild. I was hoping for like a better move. It was ironic because, because before that happened I was gonna say I should look up to see when Blitzo can learn any more moves. Huh? That's cool. I have a dream of becoming a Pokemon researcher like Professor Oak. May I please have your phone number? We should chat about Professor Oak. I'm sure it'll be loads of fun. Sure, why not? Anybody can have my phone number at this rate. Alright, well we gotta backtrack it. And then, let's go take on the sassy lass. Aren't you a cute trainer? May I see your Pokemon? You're not gonna like them when they take out, take down your Pokemon. A beauty, Valerie. A hop it. Oh, perfect. Blitz is gonna love you. I feel like... Maybe adding Hoppip, the Hoppip I have, Daisy, to the team would be beneficial for the water routes. Uh, I don't know, I'll do some research. We have some time to think about it, because it's not like we have to go to Canewood right away. I mean, we do for the potion, any, um, for the potion. Oh wait, is Chuck before Jasmine? Oh god, I have to really look that up. Because now I'm not sure. <laughs> I have a lot of research to do, as y'all can tell. Hmm. That means that we're going to be coasting on the water sooner than I imagined. And that was not the plan. Upsetting. Does Paralyze not go away on its own? Why am I not remembering anything right now? That was not a lot of damage. What? That's mean. Oh my god. Burn, go. Um, I'm just gonna switch to someone that has a fighting type move. Rocco, you need the experience. Absurd. At least Burn will take it out. Okay, wait, what all am I missing? Ooh, I can't get that now nah, though. Oh, I didn't even see this item. A max potion? <laughs> okay. So I want to take on that trainer. Wait, is there something right here? No. Of course there's nothing right there. I'm silly. I'm gonna throw Polly in because I really want Polly to get experience. I want I want Polly and Rocco to evolve as soon as possible. Fly high into the sky, my beloved bird, bird Pokemon. Yeah, maybe Rocco would have been better for this battle. So, not gonna lie, growing up, like you saw like the little like arm thing that they have. I know that's like knowing I know now that that's like what like bird like birds in general they go and like that's what chambers like wear to like for birds to land on their arm 
But for the longest time growing up, like before I learned that, I thought that was a cast on the trainer. I, I thought that was like, I thought they had like a broken arm. I don't know, that's just my little fun fact of the day. Oh, I used the wrong move. I meant to use swim. Oh, okay, good. I'll say that. I don't know what. Ooh, a fury attack? Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Eh. I gotta be careful. It's not like the beginning of the game where we were dealing with smaller stuff. We're dealing with the with the big dogs now. And they'll just keep getting bigger. Uh Rocco can handle this one. I'm gonna probably I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to Critique City, because there's not gonna be enough time in this episode for us to get all the way to Olivine as much as I wanted to. But then we'll then we'll tech then in the next episode we'll definitely get to Olivine, don't worry guys. Oh, I meant to- I didn't mean to use Rock Smash. I meant to use Rock Throw. Something that's more effective on this bird. Hey, you're not gonna- you're not gonna evolve now though, sadly. Alright, let's head back and heal up at Akritik. We did also wait. I did also waste time by trying to go get some Mary, but that didn't even happen. But oh well. I had high hopes, and those high hopes were quickly demolished. Oh, and we also went to Runes of Alpha. I was trying to figure out why it took us so long to, <laughs> why we're still in this area, but it took us so long. But we had some stuff to do. That's fine. Yeah, so after this episode, I'm just kind of making mental notes to myself. I'm gonna look up to see if it's Jasmine or, or Chuck first. I really think it's Chuck first, because we do have to go all the way to Canewood City just to get medicine for the Mary. Not to do any spoilers, but me knowing what happens. Um, so I feel like I have to take, take on Chuck, which, which kind of completely shifts my my plans. Oh, probably, there we go. So yeah, I think that's- this is gonna be- I don't think- I know. This is where I'm gonna end off the episode, guys. Thank you for joining. I'm gonna go do some extensive research, figure out when I should evolve Polly into a Polyrath, when it- when Polly does become a Polly Whirl, and then figure out when I should evolve- use the Moonstone on- need a, on Queen also. So there's a lot of factors I need to take into consider it now- into consideration now, to, so I'm not screwing myself out, out of them learning good moves. Because it's a little harder when I have to, when I, um, when the TMs disappear. I also have to find out if I should go take the time to go and spend a lot of time at the game corner to go and earn points for those good, um, those good moves that can be sold there and anywhere else. Just I don't know. I need to take time to, um, for like just things like technicality wise, so we're not gonna get screwed in the long run. Cause I know I'm gonna want them. I'm gonna want the move Psychic for Chuck if so. Cause we don't really have any flying type Pokemon. Well, Crown's a flying type Pokemon, but Crown doesn't know any flying type moves, so that is not really good. So if I could get Psychic and teach it to Ghastly, that'd be pretty good for the gym. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode though. So I'll see you then. Bye.